Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a Liberty twist on the rainbow loom. Once you're done your bracelet, your bracelet should now look like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab red rubber bands for the perimeter. Okay, you're going to want to go from the middle peg to the left peg and go from the middle peg to the right peg. Then you're going to want to go forward on the left side all the way until the second last peg and I'll show you what to do from the point. I'm going to show you how you do this. Okay. You're only going to be going up to one side, left side of the loom, and you're going to just want to do this until the second last peg, and I'll show you what to do till then. Okay, once you reach that point, you're going to want to grab another red, go from the second last peg on the left to the center, which would be the last peg left. Now you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. Now you're going to want to do the same color, red, and just go on the right side. Okay, you're just going to want to do this all the way on the right side until the second last peg and I'll show you what to do until that point again. To reach the second last peg, you're going to want to take the same color red, go from the right side and place it into the center. Now you're going to want to be taking a, a dark blue, so it should look like this, and you're going to want to go from Okay, take that blue and you're going to want to go, now you're going to want to grab another red and you're going to want to place a cut band at the top. So I'm going to show you how you do a cut band if you don't know how. Just take your color, stretch it out, make an eight, and then just place it on your two fingers and place it on the peg you want to put it on. Now you're going to want to go to the top of your loom, take your cut band, and place it at the top. Now you're going to be taking a white colored band, and you're going to want to get white and dark blue ready. Once you've done that, you're going to take your white, go from the first peg on the left, Place it onto the middle. Take your next white and go from the right onto the middle. And then you're going to want to take your dark blue, place it from the middle peg to the left peg, and then the middle peg to the right peg and then you're going to want to place it from the left peg to the center then the right side to the center take your blue again middle to left and middle to right then white from left to middle, then right to middle. Then take your blue again, go from the center to the left. Then you're going to want to go from the center to the right. Then go from the left to the center, and then the right to the center. 
I'll show you this one last time. Take your blue, go from the center to the left, then go from the center to the right. Then take your white, and you're going to want to go from the left to the center, and then the right to the center. You're going to want to do this until the end. Well, before you go to the end, you're going to want to stop at this peg and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to take your blue again. Go from the center pin to the left peg and the middle peg to the right peg. As you see, we're not going to be using these two pegs. Your loom should now look like this. You're now going to be taking your hook again. And as you know, as that, you're going to want to be turning around your loom so that the arrow is pointing towards you now. So as I was saying, you're going to be wanting to take your hook Push back the cap end and grab the top band that was meant for the perimeter and you're going to want to place it there. Push back again, do the same thing as you did on the other side and push it onto the right. Now you're going to want to do that again. You're going to want to push back these bands and hook it forward and the same on the other side. Push back these bands, grab the bottom band and place it forward. Now you're going to want to be taking your blue band. and placing it into the center. Do the same with the other side. Push back, grab the band, and place it forward. Now, you're gonna wanna be taking the white bands. Push back, grab the top white, and placing it onto the left. Now I'm going to want to take the bottom band and placing it onto the right. Now you're going to be pushing back all these bands, grabbing the bottom band, placing it forward. Again, push back all these bands and grab the bottom band and push it forward. Now, you're going to want to be taking the left side of the dark blue and placing it forward. Then do the same thing on the other side. Push back and grab the blue and place it into the center. I'll show you this one last time. Push back and grab the very top white and place it onto the right. Push back again and place it onto the right side this time. Now you're going to want to push back all of these bands and grab the bottom perimeter. Do the same on the other side. Push back and grab it forward. Now you're going to want to grab your blue again and placing it into the center. Do the same on the other side, push back, grab it into the center, 
and you're going to want to do this until the end. Once you've done that, your limb should now look like this. Now you're going to want to go to the top of your bracelet. It's easy to put all your bands up. Grab your hook. Put your hook through all those bands. And you want to grab an extension color. Okay. I'm going to be using a white. Take that. Oops. Grab it. And pull it through. Place it and slide it through. Now you can take off your bracelet. Now you have something that looks a bit like this. Now we're gonna be wanting to make an extension like what I did over here. So it'll fit your wrist. I'm gonna go back to your loom and make sure that the arrow is pointing away from you now. You're going to be wanting to choose one side of the loom and you're just going to want to place your bands. Most of the average people's wrists would usually be like a 6 or a 7 and possibly 8 if you're like older. But if your wrist is smaller, maybe an amount of 5. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to turn the loom over. And as you know, as our extension, you're going to want to carefully take it off, place your two fingers there, and keep it on. Then go back to your loom, take it. Place it on the last two, then take your hook again, and you're, it's going to be like a single chain. All of you probably know this, because that's like the very first one you had to learn. So you're just going to want to be grabbing the bottom band till the very end. The bottom band, again, again, and again. Okay, once you've done that, take your last band, stretch it out to the center, and put your fingers so that they won't fall off when you try to take off the extension. Keep them on. Okay, now you're going to want to grab your clip, and you're just going to want... To clip it on with bands, then you can take them off. Now your bracelet looks like something like this. Now you're going to want to take your cup band, place it onto your two fingers, and now grab your clip. And you're now going to hook it, and there you have your Liberty Twist bracelet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.